Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Um, as we get ready for this new school year, I'm always asked, um, how do you have your students work in your robotics class? And it's a great question and um, there are some components that if things don't go right, it becomes a little difficult. So with the Lego EV3 kit, usually I have two students working on one kit. So I always have my groups working in partners and it looks like this. The next component might be, well, Ms. Gino, how does each student work with the other partner? And so my philosophy or rule in my class is that each student works together with each other on a, an individual page or I have them flip-flop. So a partner might say, hey, I'll take all the even pages, you take all the odd pages, and that way we avoid the problem. And I've heard this in my class before. Oh, Mr. Uno, I'm doing the first 20 pages and my other partner's doing the other 20. And my big question is, what does the other person do while you're working on the other 20 pages? So it gets to be where I have to enforce the hey, you both work on the same page together or you flip-flop pages. So again, if that partner, if your partner is working on, you know, the even pages, I might get the pieces you need and you build it and then we swap that. If not, you create this problem of, hey, I'm going to go mess around, I'm going to go talk, I'm going to be off task while the other partner is building and then you have another problem of, if you're building and I'm not watching, then you might make a mistake and I don't catch it. So you have to be very careful with your robotic students that they follow this model. If not, it creates a lot of space for students to become off task. So let me go ahead and show you again some of some pictures that I've taken in my class where the partners work together. So check these out. So ultimately, you have to do what works for you. I mean, if your school economically has you working three or four students per kit, then you gotta do what you have to do. Um, and it's gonna take some experimenting on your part. Um, you know, if you try this um, you know, amount of students and it doesn't work, then, you know, like me, you're gonna have to figure that all out. Now, we did budget our school budget at two students per kit, so that's just the way it works in it. And for me, that's perfect, that's the way I feel it works the best but again um, I can't say that my way works better for everybody you have to end up doing what you you know either need to do or what works best so hopefully that was helpful for you to kind of see the way it looks like and to know how students will you know tend to act if they're not kept you know on task and everybody has a job so okay hopefully that was helpful I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics I am out.